Before we start recording, I'm going to apologise in advance for what sounds like a leaf blower outside my house. Some of the sounds might be picked up by this recording, and if you do hear that, then that's what that sound is. Okay, so let's continue. In our last video, I showed you how to create a box in GLSL and how to use the rotation matrix formula to rotate that box. And now what we're going to do in this video is finally complete our shimmer shader effect in GLSL. So let's go ahead and do that. For now, I'm going to close the canvas and focus on the code. I'll come back to that later. And what we're going to do first is create a new function that is going to have the ability to create a rectangle so that we can just focus on manipulating pixels in the main function. So let's do that now. We're going to create a float and we'll call it draw rect to draw a rectangle. And it's going to take in two arguments, a vector, which would be the pixel calls. And then it will also take in another vector, which would be the border width. Now we're going to copy everything from here excluding the border width into here and we're going to return vec to float which as you can see is already a float so we'll be returning a float and that is pretty much it let's just remove the vec to here because it's already a vec to that is coming in so we don't need to then cast it to a vec to and now what we're going to do is create a function here sorry create a variable here this will be a float and we're going to call it box it's going to call our new draw rect function and it's going to take in two arguments of course the pixel cord and our border width which is this for now so right now everything should work exactly the same as it did before now let's change this so as you can see this is a float but the draw rect requires a vector so let's make this a vector and we are going to say Vec2, say 4.5 and 0 0.45. And what this is going to do, hopefully, is stretch out our box to look like one long line. Let's see if that worked. Okay, looks like this box needs to be returned in our GL frag color variable. So let's do that. And now let's check the GLSL canvas. And as you can see, we have this long line, which is rotating because we've got the rotation calculation happening over here. Let's change this to prevent the rotation from continuously going round. We just want it to, to happen just once. So we'll put pi here for now. And what we're also going to do is make pi a constant variable because it doesn't really change. And as you can see here, this should just stay constant. For our shimmer, we need it at a slight angle. So we're gonna make it times 4.0 and keep it at this angle. And to make this move up and down, we need to change the value that is being passed into here. So as you can see, three will make it go down, one will make it go even lower, and nine will make it go up. And we can obviously put a U time here, which will make it go up and up all the time. Now, if we put a sign here inside this U time, it will make it go up and then eventually come down, which is exactly what we want. But the problem with this is it will stay up in the kind of positive section of the graph. So this is Y, this is X, but it'll go down to the negative part as well, which we can't see and we only want it to stay in the positive part. So let's change that. And to change it, I'm gonna show you a visual way of doing that. And I'm gonna visit the bookofshaders.com, page five, and scroll down to this part here where it shows a sine graph that we can manipulate. So as you can see, the sine wave is going from positive down to negative, up to positive again, and coming back down to negative. And we just want it to stay in the positive section. So first of all, let's times this by three to see more waves going along. And now to kind of make this half, we're gonna divide it by two. So this will be half the size of what it was before. And to make this more readable, I'm gonna put some brackets here. And we're gonna to need to move this up a tiny bit. So that's very simple. We just need to add five to it or 0 0.5. And as you can see, this has shifted this up slightly. We could make it 0.55 to make it a bit more off the line but now you can see the wave is staying in just the positive section of the graph so let's copy this line here and apply it to our code on this line we'll put a comment here and we're going to say u time times three 
to have our wave happening a bit faster than usual, divide that by two and plus that by 0 0.5. Okay. As you can see, it's moving a bit faster and it's only staying in the positive part of our canvas, which is exactly what we want. Now with GLSL canvas, we can change the type of shape that the canvas is rendering. And if we change it to a circle, you can see just the circle is getting shaded with the shimmer and nothing outside it, which is perfect. In our next video, we're going to focus on adding this shimmer shader to our sprite in Hacksflixel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And if you don't want to wait till next week to see the next part of this video, please check out the Udemy course in the description below.